Never too early to stake out your spot, folks. Far, we've got some health news for you. We do. We're going to be talking about hair loss in women. Now, we don't often talk about it. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people are embarrassed about it, and it can be devastating. That's right. There were two brave women, and they shared their stories with our very own Dr. Sapna Parikh. My hair would start to fall as I brushed or as I gently combed. For Yvonne Walton from Ozone Park, Queens, the hair loss began when she was 21 years old. The breakage is, is quite extensive, and some parts it's not even half an inch long. Sharon Fenster says her hair became thinner slowly and subtly over time. It's upsetting. You know, it's, it, it is. It's just, it's just upsetting. The most common reason for hair loss is really a genetic hormonal pattern. Dr. Doris Day is a dermatologist in Manhattan. She says the pattern of hair loss is different for men and women. Men have the receding hairline and then they kind of lose at the crown. Women tend to keep the frontal hairline and lose behind. She says another cause is physical damage to the hair follicle. People who pull their hair too much or braid it in too tight braids over time or who wear hair pieces that are um, too harsh on the scalp can cause a scarring hair loss. When it comes to treatment, low-level lasers can help stimulate blood flow to the scalp. And medications like Rogaine, Aldactone, and even birth control pills can help. But none of them are cures, and they may have unwanted side effects. In the meantime, there are wigs and hair pieces that can make you look and feel better. And if it's done right, no one will know the hair is not yours. People say, oh. You have a different hairdo all the time. Well, I love variety. George Mayer is the founder of Jacqueline Wigs in Midtown Manhattan, where they've been helping women with hair loss for over 40 years. He says most women start with an integration hair piece. It's like a partial wig that blends into your own hair. Here there is also a place to pull their own hair through it, and you have the clips to clip it in. It's one of these lock and release clips. For a casual look, they can sew hair into your favorite hat. This is something she might wear to the beach or to go uh, bicycle riding. So if you're a Mets fan, you can bring in, a, you can bring in your Mets hat? Uh, yeah, absolutely, yes. <laughs> Any know? hat? Yes. Sharon opted for hair extensions that are glued in. What they do is they just they insert them here under, under your hair. And for hair loss that's more severe, George says a full wig is still the best option. It can be made from real hair or synthetic hair, which is cheaper. This is synthetic, but it moves very nicely. It moves like regular hair. The only drawback to this is that it doesn't last as long as natural hair. But for someone for short-term use, this is fine. Dr. Sapna Parikh, Fox 5 News. All right, well, coming up next on Good Day New York, former New Jersey housewife Teresa Judah.